five team. I mean, what do you remember about that team, and, and why do you think the fans thought that that was the best team of all time in the history of the NHL? Uh, well, I know it's a great group of guys. I mean, I think that's one of the things that really stands out is we were all like a big happy family, but also we were a fairly deep team that we could win a game 10-9, we could get, win a game 2-1. And that, maybe that's what kind of had the appeal to people is we played an exciting brand of hockey. It was, the games were never boring. I mean, yeah. we made sure of that, so. But no, it was, it was just such a talented team that was deep from Andy and myself on the backside all the way up into the forwards. So, I mean, it was fun that we could play any style of hockey that anybody else wanted to play. How different were you guys from the team prior, which we just celebrated a couple of years ago, uh, when you look back on 85? Well, I think we were a year smarter. I mean, obviously the same type of team, but as you go through a year, you get a little bit smarter. You learn what you have to do to win more than anything. And I think that's at the progression of all the teams right through to 90 as you get smarter as you went along, where you learn the less wear and tear on the body's better. So if you could run through the playoffs and finish 16-2, and two, you finish 16-2. and two. You didn't maybe take a game off or say, oh, well, that game doesn't really matter. They all mattered. I know you're... Uh a humble guy and, and you don't like to be loud or anything but does it still mesmerize you and does it did you guys have a swagger to your step in that season well, I, hey if you're winning you obviously have a little hop in your step so did we have a swagger i think our team had a little bit of a swagger i mean but we still also knew that we had to be good and you had to win but i think the biggest thing about that team is nobody really cared about personal statistics it was all about winning and that's what mattered did it mesmerize you the fact that you guys were knocking off incredible records like one after another were falling whether it was Wayne or Paul Coffey doing stuff to Bobby Orr's records does that ever blow your mind and did it back then back then I don't think it we really noticed it we were just too busy trying to go out each day and win I mean I think that's the fun part of winning is you don't realize how hard the work is because you're having a good time doing it you're committed to it and you look back like now that I'm old you look back at it we actually did accomplish a lot of great things but at the time, you don't really take the time to enjoy it. How special is it to be with these guys again? Because like 84 Reunion and like the Farewell Rex, all, it seems like you guys just all love each other and are still on the same team. Oh, we do. And we get a chance to get away, spend a little time together. We have a good time with that. So all, they'll all be very close friends. And anytime you can spend a little time with them and catch up, it's fun. Grant, always a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, sir.